I'm Jim with Marine Electronics Installation. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the One Plus Two battery switch. These battery switches are very common in boats from 15 to 30 feet, especially center console fishing boats where you have two battery banks. There's a bit of confusion about these battery switches, how they should be operated, so I thought I'd do a short video just to explain how they should be operated in most boats. For these battery switches to be operated the way I'm going to explain, obviously your boat needs to be wired properly. Um, typically, most of the newer boats will have an ACR, or some of the older boats will have what they call an isolator installed in the boat. Uh, this will allow the engine to charge both batteries at the same time, even though the switch may not be in the all position. If you have one of the few boats that doesn't have an isolator or an ACR in it, there are ways around that to still charge both batteries, and I'll be going through those. One of the first things we need to cover is the off position. Anytime you're not using your boat for an extended period of time, uh, the switch needs to be in off position. This prevents the batteries from being discharged in case something is left on or in case there's some kind of draw on the boat, uh, something that continues to run and draw current while the boat's not in use. Uh, the only thing typically that is ever wired around the battery switch that works in the off position is bilge pumps on smaller boats. Uh, some of the larger boats will be CO2 alarms, battery monitors, some other things that may be wired around the switch, but for the most part, bilge pumps are the only thing that should work with the switch in the off position. Next, we want to cover the positions in the actual switch that you'll be using. Um, first off, Position one, this is where I tend to like to leave the dock. Um, if you do not have an isolator or an ACR in your boat, this is a good starting position when you leave the dock, position one. If you have an ACR or an isolator, you can run this position one or in position two. It does not matter. Uh, either way, both battery banks should get charged on your boat as long as it's wired properly. Um, if it does not have an isolator or an ACR or improperly wired, I suggest that you get that taken care of so that you don't have to monitor your battery switch all the time um, to keep your batteries charged up. Starting in position one, when you leave the dock, this is what I usually tell people if they don't have an isolator or an ACR on the boat and don't want to install one. Leave in position one sometime in the middle of the day when the engine is off, switch to position two. What this does is on the way back in as you run your engine, it charges battery number two back up so that when you get to the dock, hopefully battery one has some charge on the way out, battery two has some charge on the way back. Uh, obviously, if you have an ACR or an isolator, it will charge the other battery no matter which position the switch is in. Now, when you switch this in the middle of the day, if you're going to do that, what I would recommend is you do not go through the off position, then to two. I suggest that you go from one to one plus two to position two. Uh, what this does is these switches, or most of these switches, are what they call make before break contacts. What that means is if you switch it from one to one plus two to two, power will not shut off to your chart plotters, bait well pumps, fish finders, anything else you have running, stereo. Uh, if you switch to the off position, then the two, of course, everything is going to shut off and need to be turned back on or reset. So that's the easiest way to run it. This is pretty much it for these battery switches. The only time you're going to use the one plus two position is in an emergency situation where your battery's dead, you can't start your engine, then you can switch to one plus two to combine both banks. Um, one thing I will say, do not run this full time in one plus two when you're using the boat. Um, this could run both batteries dead if there's an issue on the boat where there's current being drawn, uh, it'll pull both batteries down to where you cannot start your engine with either one. Um, hence the reason for a one position and two position, it keeps the two battery banks separated so that you cannot discharge both of them completely dead. Um, that way you'll always be able to switch either one plus two or to the other bank to start your engine to get home and hopefully that battery will have enough charge to get the engine started and get you back home. Um, and then once you're home again, of course, shut your battery switch off. That's it for this video. Hope this helped you out. And uh, please subscribe and like. And we thank you for watching.